Okay, so sound is good. Picture's good. Everything should be good now, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, guys, so I've been away. Let's have a look and see what is going on in the markets today. So very nice uptrend, very nice uptrend on Euro dollar. Looking for a pullback. This is a really good, so that's potentially a setup. I think <clears throat> probably tomorrow would be better, but potentially a setup to go long. Uh, we are a little bit overextended here, not a lot. And we have got a bit of a bearish candle here, so we could end up coming back down. But otherwise, I would expect us to continue up from here if that dollar is going to continue to weaken. Sterling, same thing again. <clears throat> We're certainly in an area where we could get uh, a continuation from here. Then, so that's sterling, that's euro. Same thing is going to be the case with, except for the difference that there's some strong resistance here with Aussie dollar, US dollar. Um, <clears throat> Kiwi dollar also. These are looking good. I'd love to see a nice little bullish candle to see us break the high of uh, the previous candle. So that looks good. Dollar yen. <clears throat> I'm looking at the weekly here. We've kind of broken through this, but we have pulled back into the previous highs and produced an inside bullish candle. So depending on how this week finishes, that could be... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm fighting off a cold. Man, I realize that every time I do this, I'm complaining about something. Um, so we could have a bullish candle, which could be a continuation of the dollar yen pairs. Dollar Swiss no setup. Dollar CAD is a mess. I think this could be a double bottom. We've got bullish divergence. We've got a very bullish engulfing candle here. I could We could see an attempt for this to turn around. So if it's going to turn around this week, well, we'll see. But I'm just going to put that in. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. <coughs> um, Euro GBP, no setup. Euro Yen, no setup. Euro Swiss no setup. Could be a setup on your CAD to the upside okay so we've got what i'm looking for for those of you who are new is i'm looking for strong trains and then i'm looking for retracements and then i'm looking for those to continue so for example looking at your aussie we've broken to the upside that was a setup that i looked at on the weekend but now what i need is a pullback so i need to move a break up here pull back and a retest and a continuation same with your kiwi there's no <coughs> no setup there pan yen there's no setup Pound Swissy, no setup. Pound CAD, there could be. It's not a great one. I'd like to see a nice little air, uh, inside bullish candle there. Pound Aussie, no setup. So that would have been a setup, which is now losing trade. So probably going to get anywhere from 2 to or 20 to 40% of the trades will be losing trades. <clears throat> Ideally, the rest will do 3 to 1, and so they'll make it worthwhile. That's battling with resistance there. There's nothing happening on that. Aussie Kiwi was looking incredibly bearish here. It's actually pulled right back up. Didn't trigger, hasn't created any setups, so there's no setup there. Aussie CAD, no setup. No setup, but this is a great chart. Aussie Swissy, so any kind of pullback here would be great, I think, for that. Aussie Yen, no real setup. Kiwi CAD, no setup just yet. No setup. <clears throat> Kiwi Yen is trying to go higher, so this could be, could be a move. Let me, yeah. Could be a move to the upside there. Okay, it's trying, but it's not a great chart. CAD yen, no setup. Well, what it would be is it would be a pullback and a continuation down if it was going to do anything, if that's what it's going to do. But here you can see it's bullish over here. So we have a contradiction. We're definitely bullish here, looking like a good continuation up. And here uh, it looks like it wants to continue down. So it's dangerous to take that trade. Here's a great chart as well. I need a pullback. So there's no setup yet, but it's a good chart to watch. And <clears throat> CAD Swissy, no setup. All right, cool. So let's go to the um, main layout. Let's have a look at gold. Gold is looking really nice and bullish. There was a nice little pullback here, which I missed. Any kind of pullbacks now would look good. Excuse me. <clears throat> Silver, I need a pullback here as well. So no pullbacks, so no setup. Copper, no setup. It's range bound. If you look at it on the weekly, it's just ping ponging here for now. So no setup. Natural gas is trying to turn around. It really is still trying to turn around. Um, so there might still be uh, an opportunity to go long. The best way to do that. So this again is stuff that I've spoken about in previous videos would be to kind of do that. Again, take that dotted line. Once we start to breach that, there could be an opportunity to go long. So this could be seen as a bull flag. Hopefully that makes sense. Crude oil. There we go. There's a the setup. It's a good one. 
too. Not a not a small candle, but it's a setup. So that's nice. So I like crude oil. Um, okay, coffee, no setup. Wheat, <clears throat> looking bullish, but no setup. Sugar, it's a bit messy. I would stay away from it. Cotton is a mess. Okay, indices, we need pullbacks. So we need a pullback. There's no setup. S&P, no setup. NASDAQ, no setup. Russell, no setup. FTSE, trying to turn around, but it's higher risk. DAX, no setup. No setup. Nikai, no setup. Could it again be a bear flag? Sorry, a bull flag. There's no real way to kind of line it up, but because that doesn't really look good. But there could be a potential flag here for it to go up. Sort of like this. <clears throat> kind of a channel. And then just move it up there. And that's your setup. Apple, no setup. Mm, it was a setup yesterday, but no setup now. AT&T, no setup. No setup. So I'm, all of these, I'm looking for a good trend and a pullback. So if I go back and have a look here, it's a good trend, but I need a pullback. There's no pullback. Remember, every entry into or any entry into a trade, any good entry is either on a breakout or a pullback. That's it. There's no, there aren't any other ways to get in. Nice gap up. That's good. Nice little green area highlighting that, so we'll get a potential monthly bullish candle here. We can see this turn around. So again, it is a, it's turned around. It's kind of broken this trend. So I'd be looking for that to um, get a pullback now. <clears throat> Amer no, no pull, no entry, no entry, no entry, no entry, no entry, possibly. So one way to do this is an entry above the high of tomorrow's candle, stop loss below the low here. It's still trying to break out of that range, which is why it's a bit tricky. This whole area is a level of resistance, so there is danger there. Um, no entry. No setup. Okay, if you look at it like this. So if you see it, you've got a, an uptrend on the weekly. Higher lows, higher highs, nice little bullish candle here off the previous highs. And your entry would have been somewhere around here. So your entry there. So price is currently here. Which means that you could arguably still put an entry order here and stop loss there. Which means that if tomorrow it breaks higher, you get taken in and you're still getting in the same entry and the same stop loss. You could go even further and put your entry above the high of this candle. Stop loss here. So that could be a possible way of getting in. Okay. Meta, no pullback, no setup, no setup, big, nice, strong move. NVIDIA, no pullback, it's a dangerous area anyway. Netflix, a couple of years ago, Tesla had its big breakout move. And so I wonder if NVIDIA is going through something similar. <clears throat> PayPal. No setup, but I do like the fact that it's starting to break out now, so this looks good. Spotify, no setup. Sp Spider, no setup. FedEx, no setup. Tesla, no setup, but it's looking good. Uh, Vanguard, no setup. Cryptos. This might hold and push higher, so we'll see. I, again, would prefer to trade it on the breakout to the upside. Ethereum. Could be a potential setup here. Possible. Possible move. The trend is better. <clears throat> Solana. Could be a setup there. Not bad. Nice little bullish candle there. Looks good. Ugh. Could be a setup here as well. Finance. Could be a setup there. All right. I'll leave you uh, for today with this. There's a couple of things, a couple of currency pairs that could be setting up and one or two of the others, uh, but not really a huge amount in terms of stocks or equities, right, uh, indices and equities right now. Um, and I will try to maintain this for the rest of the week. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, but that's it from me. So I'm going to end this and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.
All right. Um, if you need, uh, if you're not getting something from this that you like, you're new and you don't know how I'm doing the analysis or something, give me some feedback. If there's something you need me to tell you, then I'll do that. Okay. Um, and that is it. All right, guys. Have a great evening.